Hi, I'm Mike Pyatt, and I'm a recent graduate from a radiography program in Michigan, and I'm about to show you a technique called Three Keys to pass the radiography registry with ease. If you learn and use this technique, you can be a lot more certain you're going to pass the radiography exam and you can dramatically decrease the amount of time you have to study for it. And you'll also, if you learn and use this, you'll avoid long study hours, stress, and frustration. Now you see these three keys were developed because I wanted to be prepared myself to make sure I would pass the radiography registry. After seeing my friend fail, and I thought he was really smart and prepared, it made me really want to be prepared and pass. But it really also led me to a journey to figure out what made people pass the radiography registry and what made people fail. So it started that, you know, I started the usual way. I got a radiography preparation book. I did all the exercises. You know, I studied the whole thing. And at the end, I still did not feel any more prepared. You know, what was going on? So I first asked my classmates, you know, what they were doing to prepare, see if I could get any ideas. But it seems like they fell into three categories. They either were burnt out, overwhelmed, stressed out, clueless to what was going on, or just weren't preparing at all. And I definitely fit into all three of those categories. So then I decided I should ask people who already passed, you know, the texts that already passed, and see what they did. Well, it was actually kind of interesting to get some of their responses, you know, just hearing the R word. Um, some would just freak out or get mad instantly. But it made me really realize that this was bigger than just a regular test or exam. You know, the usual exams, you can study a little bit before and you can usually know how well you're going to do. But this was a lot bigger for some reason. You know, maybe it was all the information, you know, all the medical information, which really can seem endless and you know, it's two years worth of information. You know, all the information our teachers and the ARRT certification have been cramming down our throats. With good intent, of course, but it's a lot of information. So I kept on being persistent, trying to figure out how to prepare for the radiography examination. I kept on researching the people who passed and even those who failed so I could do the exact opposite. Soon, I found commonalities between those who passed and those who failed. Those who thought it was really hard, difficult, and got stressed to those who thought it was easy and actually enjoyed preparing for it. So these three keys don't come from me being so smart, but I stole them from all the people that had the result and got the result that I wanted. They worked for me, they worked for others, and now I want to teach it to you. So I'm about to tell you the first key right now and it may seem so easy but if you really use it you're going to save a lot of time and you'll save and avoid a lot of stress and that first key of the people who passed who thought it was easy and didn't get overwhelmed in the process they only focused on one thing they focused on getting above 75 percent or above on their practice scores they didn't focus on all the little things they have to remember and everything they need to know because that would just lead to overwhelm so that's the first key. Don't focus and try to like learn everything. Just focus on your main outcome to get a 75% or above on your practice score. What was really interesting is when I would ask students towards the end of their day, you know, are you prepared for the exam? Do you think you're going to pass? Some would say, you know, I have no idea. Some would say yes. Some would say no. And someone would just look at, you know, this pure look of fright on their face. Now the crazy part is, if you take a practice exam, you pretty much know exactly where you're gonna, how you're gonna do on the real exam. Yeah, they may, they may be a little bit off, but for the most part, it's really gonna show you exactly where you're at. And most students never take the time to actually see where they're at on the practice exams. So that brings us to key number two, which is know where you're at at the practice exams. This takes all the worrying out if you're going to pass or fail. And if you know exactly where you're at, you then know exactly how much you need to improve. For example, if you take a practice test and you get a 70%, let's say, that's awesome because now you know all you need to do is get a 5% and you'll be at a 75% on your practice score. Yeah, the t uh, practice score may be a little bit different, but it'll give you a really good indicator you know, where you're at. Now, on the other hand, 
let's say you take the practice test and you get an 80%. Well, now you don't even really need to study and you can stop worrying if you're going to pass or fail. Okay, let's say you take the practice exam and you get like a 60% or you just do horrible. That's awesome too. You know why? Because now you know exactly how much you need to improve. No matter what you get, you really just need to know where you're at so then you need to then you know exactly how much you need to improve. Which actually brings us to key number three. Know if it's working. You know, if you're studying with a friend, um, if you're doing studying on your own, if you're doing something big or small, you need to know if it's working. So how do you know if it's working? You take another practice exam in a month or a few weeks or longer or whatever time is right for you and you record your score on one practice um, test and then you take another one and you see how much you improved. You know, that's so crucial because now you know how much you improved, if it's working, and exactly how long it took to improve and then you can plan accordingly. You know, if you're just studying and, you know, doing whatever and you think you're improving but you're really not, you're in denial. Um, that's really bad because that's how people fail. Um, the people I talked to have failed. You know, they thought they were prepared. They thought they had everything together. And it doesn't work out like they think it would. I do not want that to be you. So in recap, the three keys are one, focus on your outcome. Focus on just getting a 75% or above on the practice exams. If you focus on all the little stuff, you'll be completely overwhelmed. Second, know where you're at. This takes away the feeling of, you know, am I going to pass or am I going to fail? And it's really crucial because then you can know exactly how much you need to improve. Or maybe you don't even need to study at all. And then third, know if it's working. You know, take a practice test again in a month or whatever time is right for you and see if you improved. Then you can really plan accordingly because you know how much you need to improve and you know how long it took you so you can make the correct plan be prepared to pass now there's a lot of other techniques and tricks I discovered but I'll teach you those later first start putting these three keys into place if you don't learn and use these three keys you'll just be overwhelmed and you always have this you know voice in the back of your head that's saying you know you should study and you'll lose a lot of energy and you won't be able to enjoy your free time as much. If you learn to use these three keys, you'll save yourself a lot of time, frustration, and you'll avoid the trap of waiting for the last minute to prepare for the exam like most students do. Now if you learn to use these three keys, you'll also feel like a weight has been lifted off your shoulder. You'll start to feel and be more confident. You'll also enjoy your free time more, you'll have more free time, and you'll also enjoy your internship more. Now, some people have said, Mike, aren't you going to teach me radiography concepts? And the truth is, I can teach you that stuff, but my super strong point is strategy. You know, how to prepare for a test this big, how to not get overwhelmed, and how to do it in the easiest and quickest way possible. You know, the truth is, it's not all about the information. I studied about four different prep books and still didn't feel and wasn't any more prepared. I know people who studied a ton and failed the exam. I know people who didn't study a ton and passed. So something that no one's going to teach you and what I found out was the real missing key was strategy. So that's what I'm here to teach you. So I made a practice exam for you so you can know exactly where you're at. You should see a link below that says free radiography test. Go ahead. Click that link when the video is over and enter in your name and email so I can keep in contact with you and help you along the way. Also, you're going to learn exactly what's on the radiography exam, what areas you specifically need to focus on, and how you can have momentum to make your test stay smooth and easy. So go ahead, click the link below, enter your name and email, and I'll be talking to you very soon.